Welcome back to Homeschooling with Mrs. Miller. This lesson today is 501L. Today I'm going to talk about the schwa laws and the schwa rules. I will go rather quickly through this, but it's just a way for you to understand the nasty schwa. I shouldn't say the nasty schwa. It's fun, but that schwa, the unaccented syllable, it makes spelling more difficult. Schwa laws. The schwa allows us to speak quickly. Interesting thought. When we say about, about, uh, makes it, um, makes us be able to speak quicker instead of saying about. Go about your business. Go about your business. Go about your business. It helps us speak quicker. The schwa takes less effort to say. The schwa, well, the schwa just happens. A schwa will never, never be in the accented syllable. You can only trust the vowel in the accented syllable. 20% percent of all vowels spoken spoken are the schwa 20 percent that means one out of five syllables that come out of our mouth are the schwa open and closed vowels can change to schwa in unaccented syllables open and closed vowels can change to schwa in unaccented syllables so that's the schwa laws. Here I have the schwa rules. Okay, With the schwa rules, I've created four sentences. Those four sentences that I've created, as silly as they are, they help us uh, understand the schwa. And in talking about the sentences and looking at the words in the sentences and seeing the silly pictures, I'll get to that. The schwa only happens in unaccented syllables. So the sentence is, alive and alone, the human buffalo ate a banana in the canal. Check this out. Alive and alone, the human buffalo ate a banana in the canal. Pretty silly, I tell you. This sentence, picture, helps us realize that any open A, any closed A, in unaccented syllables will probably, probably change to the schwa. Not always, but probably. The second sentence, the pilgrim's basket left the circus to dwell in the canyon. Here we go. Here's our picture. The pilgrim's basket left the circus to dwell in the canyon. This sentence is used for the schwa in the respect that any closed vowel can change to the schwa. Any closed vowel. Closed A, closed E, closed I, closed O, closed U. Any closed vowel can change to the schwa. Third sentence. The oval pencil will travel to the capital. The oval pencil will travel to the capital. The purpose for this sentence in understanding schwa is to be aware that a vowel plus L, A-L-E-L-I-L-O-L-U-L, -L -L -L, at the end of a word, at the end of a multisyllable word, will change to schwa in unaccented syllables. A lot of information here. And the Fourth sentence. Here's our picture. Elegant Jessica is a confident enemy on the balcony. This sentence is used to understand the schwa that an open syllable in the middle of a word can change to schwa. It is not a true short vowel sound. Now, when I say in the middle of a word, keep in mind that 
this elegant Jessica can only be found in three or more syllables because there is a middle syllable in a three syllable word. There is a middle syllable in a four syllable word. However, there's not a middle syllable in a two syllable word. So elegant Jessica only takes place in three or four or five syllable words. So you can tell that the schwa is, is bigger than just your two syllable words. So here we go, schwa laws, schwa rules. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us.